Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. I program something. I show you, I program something. Uh, here, this is what I have accomplished. You see, okay, you see a lot of new stuff. Yeah? You see here there is, uh, well, there is a grid. Yeah? There is a grid, so we can select, we can see how many degree, uh, what is the, and how many hours already passed and so on. We see the line. Yeah, the, the, the red line here is also something a little uh, yellow. I think the, I wiggled a little bit the, the, the resistor so it measured a short, briefly a, a value. But here you see, ooh, there was a lot of stuff going on. Yeah? And uh, I, with, with this button here, yeah, I can now change between, right now it's switched to zoom or move. Zoom or move. Zoom or move. If a Zoom, yeah. This is up and down here. If I press up button, you see I'm zooming in in the temperature. You see the scale is changing. Yeah, it's now from zero to eight. So switch to move and let's move up. Twenty, twenty-two. Here. Here's the line. Now we see already more, a little bit more what is going on. So I, if I select move, I can move. Yeah? If I select zoom, I can zoom in or zoom out. And it's working exactly the same way in, in time direction. So if I want to zoom in there, Here we see now, we can really, or we can move also. It's cool, huh? Yeah, it's cool. I, I actually, I like, I like it very much. Here, this would be the menu button. This one, this one is okay. There is no, no nothing on okay right now. And this would be the menu button. And the menu button, I just is a black overlay. Uh, I can open and close the menu, but there's nothing inside. I show you how I realized this. Huh? So at the computer, uh, yeah, well, I, I reprogrammed a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff is, has changed. Uh, the chart object now has a lot of new things. Yeah, if we are the data point, the data, data, data row, I have not touched. However, the chart object now uh, it's add value, clean values. This was already. Then get coordinates. I also get had already coordinates. Then we get get x coordinate. Yeah. So I give. I give the chart object a coordinate, a x value, yeah, and say, tell me the coordinate of this. This I needed to draw the grid. Yeah. Uh, this is the time. Yeah. Where to put it? Uh, this get x and y coordinate. Those are new. Yeah. Then I extended also. Uh, I have not x min and x range, but I also calculate internally x max, yeah, the maximum, also and y. Yeah, and now I also introduced these display things here. These display things, they are there, uh, you know, to, to, to only show part of it. This is, this is the thing I'm storing, the whole area I'm storing. All right. Minimum, maximum, and the range of stored values. And this is the currently displayed field. In y direction, there is only the displayed field, so there's not, uh, really, Different, huh? and I added all those get get functions, huh? and I had also the set x min display, set x range display, set y resolution, set y min val, and so on. This changed a little bit, yeah, huh? but it now can handle the stuff you've seen. Okay, so and in the barbecue handheld, uh, I know. The most things I've changed in the draw lines, yeah, because in draw lines, I now say, okay, 
uh, give me the X area, yeah, the displayed area. Yeah. Based on the displayed area, I select a division yeah, here. So how many seconds, 60 seconds, if the displayed area is 350 seconds or less, every 60 seconds would be a, a white line and every 15 seconds would be at a, a darker line, right? So this is this is just how the grid is is working. This x and y division is always where are right numbers and the brighter lines and small oh, small is the 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 smaller grid. Yeah? If you have a look at this, again you see there are always brighter lines here with zero 15, 15 minutes actually. Yeah. I oh, know, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. So we always have 5 minutes in between. And, and the darker, the darker ones are uh, the, the small division. Huh? Good. So that's that. Yeah? Then clear screen, draw everything black. All right. Then I draw the lines. This is also the X lines. Every time Sometimes in gray, sometimes in dark gray. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Y lines, sometimes in gray, dark gray. Then I write the text, 10 degree, 15 degree, and so on, in y direction. So this is actually the, the, the degree and x direction. This is the time. Yeah. And here make a little bit calculation. I divide these milliseconds in hours and minutes so that I can display hours and minutes. And that's, uh, that, that's, that's it. Yeah. Draw menu. The function is very small up to now. Yeah. Very small up to now. There's nothing much than this black box with a white area. Update screen. I've the, if we should update lines or if we should update menu. Yeah. And if we have lines and menu was open and menu is not open, so if the menu was closed, I draw the lines. If the menu, I call draw menu. Yeah? And in the end, whatever happens to the canvas in those two functions, yeah? I will copy, I will copy it to the DFT display. Yeah? And here I have handle button. Yeah? With the button menu, I open the menu. Yeah? I return true that the menu can be drawn. Yeah? Button cancel, I invert zoom, so this is the top most the most top button, yeah, zoom and not zoom, zoom, zoom and move, this is that. Yeah. And if I press button up and zoom is activated, I change the the range, the temperature range. Yeah. See if the temperature range is lower than the maximum at uh, the minimum, then leave it at the minimum and set the Y range of the trend. And if it's not in zoom, if it's moving, I'm moving the minimum temperature to somewhere else. Yeah. And also button down, the range, change the range if zoom, if not, change the position. Button right, change the, the zoom, the, the, the X display range, yeah. display range in X direction, time direction, change the range if zoom, if not, move it. Button left, change the zoom, or move it. And that's it. And here there's nothing much if the button was pressed. Yeah, got handle button, yeah, update menu, if we have to update the menu. Update lines, I currently set always to true. I'm not sure if this is, if this is good. Or not. Uh, right now, I always draw the lines. Yeah, and that's it. And actually, what I want to add now is that we move this away from temperature pro from the computer case. <laughs> now we should see it cool off. Yeah. You see, it's always always scrolling as well. So actually, what I want to do now is. Uh, Make a little bit in the menu, okay? Uh, draw the menu. How to draw this? Uh, 
First, I will have a menu position. Okay, menu position, menu item. I already have those two variables. Yeah. And now, if menu position, no, switch. I don't make it like that. If menu position equals zero. Let's see how this looks like. Now it should simply be written, uh, simply be written set points there. I hope this fifth is broad enough. Ooh. Okay, we have to go a little bit down. <laughs> set. Point. Maybe a little bit. Mm -hmm. So let's move down. We need it bigger. We need 10. And we need to go down how many pixels? At least. No, it looks already better. Maybe two more, two pixels more south. Twelve. All right. And then we are going to be at, I don't know, 55. Mm-hmm. Looking good. One time bigger here. And maybe two times bigger here. Looking good. Set points. <laughs> Now parameter config. I also edit the parameter. Uh, I will set point red temperature one set point temperature number two set point temperature number three and same to a temperature number four. Mm -hmm. Cool. This shall be the parameters. Temp set point one. Always forget. Two. Three. Four. Mm -hmm. Now we we'll make it like that. For int i equals zero to equals zero i smaller than four i plus plus this is the counter and then we will have a long value equals param param dot get bar. params what is the, what do we call the parameter? Params. Param, pam, pam, pam. Params dot get param. Parameter value is i. 
and then I want to have parameter name okay char Ooh, what is this max max param oof, oof, oof. what is this somewhere I've I've used this here I remember param max length text this is inside the parameter uh, Alright, now we should see a triangle wherever the menu currently is, the menu item currently is, and uh, we should see uh, the names. This is working. Let's see. Okay, we're crashing. <laughs> Isn't that nice? It's not working perfect. <laughs> but what? Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Too long, the texts are too long. The texts are too long. So, set point, temperature one, much shorter, much shorter, two, three, four. Okay, here, I made much shorter texts. What else? This triangle is too high. This triangle is too high. It is there, but it's too high. We also have to move a little bit to the right with the text. So, this must, uh, must, must be done here. Set curl not to 12. Then I will go to, to 17. And this is too much right. I will go to 100. 100. All right, 100. And the triangle. The triangle, we said it's too high. We will not start at 7, we will start at 10. And then, 10 is a little bit maybe off. 11, 11 and 25. And the middle. There is 9, 5, 14, plus 7, 11, 18. It must be, must be correct. Upload, try this. Mm -hmm. Looking good, the triangle does not look too good. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, we can move it a little bit to the right. What is up with the triangle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Here we can move a little bit to the right at 120 probably. Would be all right. And now I only have then two handle menu here. Yeah, button up. Ooh, I need to somehow define the menu. How to do this? I'll make this here somewhere. Menu. Const menu positions. One menu position currently. 
const const byte byte menu items menu positions and here we have four mm -hmm. so I will have an array now and here if I press button up I can say menu item minus minus if menu item if menu item bigger than zero menu item minus minus else menu item equals uh, menu items I should write it correct of menu position minus one good and here down menu item smaller than this one mm -hmm. this should handle now button up and down hopefully now I should be able with button up and down to 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 change the position of the of the triangle and now and now the triangle should also be <laughs> looking better hopefully does not look much better but it's moving Ooh. Hmm. where does it go <laughs> so what's up with this with this error here 11 all right then we let let's not have 15 let's have I'll make it like that 9 9 then we're closer together all right then we are at 11 here this is 15 this is too high make it 17 17 25 is actually okay 25 17 25 is 8 plus 4 17 plus 4 is 21 21 23 21, 22, 23, all the three. This should look fine, hopefully. Also, the distance between the, the, the parts is a little bit hmm, small, I must say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Of course, this this is for wrong nine times. Nine times, and those are here at the top. I'm looking much better now. I'm looking much better now. And uh, what is also going on? If many item bigger than zero, many item minus minus, else many items. This is not correct. Ooh. <clears throat> I changed here a little bit. This was inside the bracket for whatever reason, because I'm not thinking. Probably. Because I want to, to try it. Hacking, hacking, hacking. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. This is looking good. 
shift it a little bit down and now we should be able okay break the only thing I have to do to realize now or to make now is that that input the input we'll make the maximum parameter if okay mm -hmm. Okay, now I change the input on. Also, if I press, if I press the OK button, and the input is ongoing, I save the input value. Else, I fill the input value and say input is ongoing or not ongoing. If cancel, I just cancel the input ongoing part. That's it. And in 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 fill input value. If I'm there at this menu position, I will get the parameter yeah? and in save input value, I will save the parameter. And here, I only have to draw it if input ongoing, I make again an overlay. Yeah. Hmm. This time at 3030, why not? And how much? 160. Minus sixty, one hundred, seventy. Over here, thirty, thirty, one hundred, seventy. Set the cursor. This position is thirty-two, and Y position. What was this? Twelve. Seven more, seven more, thirty-seven. Let's make it thirty-three. Canvas dot print. Input text. Canvas dot. Set font. Use another font. The standard font there. Where, ooh, where have I used this? Print temps, I think. Hmm. I should print this, hopefully. Hmm, looking nice. Too big, but nice. Okay, what I have to do, what the, I have to do. The text and so on is looking, this is looking okay. Set point temp2, right? Then maybe a little bit further apart. I will make it like that. Not mighty, but Okay. 
Mm -hmm. Looking nice. Nicer than before, at least. Mm -hmm. The only thing I still have to add is, is the entering, yeah? because right now I'm just printing it, but I cannot change it. I want to use left, right, up, down buttons to change the, the digits, to select the digit, left, right, up, down to change this digit. Mm -hmm. One digit less would do, I think. 111 minus minus 2 times 11 1 I think that's it yeah. then I have input position Build field. <laughs> mm. Did not hit. Now I think it should like it should look pretty good. I think it all the time, but then I realize it's not that good. But now I'm becoming close. Yeah. All right. The first one is looking really good. Mm hmm now it's looking nice maybe one pixel to the right and we are right we are okay now it's looking really nice one pixel one one pixel one pixel to the right so it's 115 15 116 all right I should now be able to, to move left and right and there should be small triangles above and below. Should look nice actually. Okay. One triangle is not looking that good. Here's the reason. The other ones are looking pretty nice, I must say. Okay, I only have to hand, handle up and now, up and down now.
Okay, handle input change, I also have to add Hmm. Is this working? Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Not even me. I think it should work. Menu. <laughs> Not yet uploaded. <laughs> Menu. Enter. And now cancel. Nothing changed. Right? Enter. Now switch to 100. Enter. Nothing changed. Damn it. But it's already good. It's already pretty good. Pretty good. Save input value. <laughs> Luckily, you know you are you are not witnessing when I was programming the other stuff, huh? because it took days. This takes already too long for me. I'm not sure why. I have it in my head, but I cannot write it down. This is everything is correct, but why is it not setting the parameter? Eprom begin. Eprom begin. Ah, I am at the ESP device, so I have to Eprom begin somewhere. Ay, 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 ay. How was this working? How was this working? I look in an old program. Ah, this was no ESP. <laughs> Where did I have this? Studio light, I think in the studio light there was. Begin. Oh, this is true. This should work. Why oh, is not working? It is working. The IntelliSense is an issue. In this case. Alright. Now it's working. I feel it. I feel it. Because so I have to go to the toilet. <laughs> All right. Upload, upload. Now I think I can set parameters. Make it big because then it's working. Writing 7%, 14%. Huh? Minus two? Huh? There's something. 906.98. Alright. Ooh, ah, now it's working because now I have... Ah, because there's no, no real value in there. Okay, let's try it once again. And uh, I will want to move here. I want to have it here. Zero. Zero. This. Zero. This zero and this one hundred twenty. I will want to go to one hundred twenty. Enter one hundred twenty. It's stored. 
Okay, next one. Down. Enter. Here have the same issue. This I want. This I want to have. It's inside the flesh. So I, um, the meat, not the flesh. I will have it at sixty-five. Let's see. <laughs> All right. Right, this is working. What if I make a reset now? Then those parameters sh should be stored because they are written in the flesh, right? Menu. No. All right. I have to look into this, I think. A little bit more in detail. But actually, why is this, why is this not working? 100. Now it seems like it worked. Probably something in my library with the commit. I will have a look into this. But actually the, the input and stuff is working. Good. Good. Yeah. Now we can really... And if I close the menu... Huh? We can zoom, we can select set points and stuff, we can open a menu. I like it. I like it. All right. That's it. Uh, that's, that's the menu input. I will tweak a little bit around, make a little bit more, and then I will show you what, I, what the issue is in the next video. All right. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.